Because I think, Coach, one of the best plays to get the pick and move, you see, as yeah. opposed to passing it over there. Well, I should make that clear then. If the pass is not there or somebody else is open... He was superhuman on the basketball court and everywhere else. One sports writer likened the first sight of Wilt to the first sight of the New York City skyline. It was majestic, whether seen from up close or afar, you just kind of went, wow. Wilt was a Paul Bunyan figure, mythic in what he could personally do he was Goliath, the strongest uh, basketball player that ever lived. The case closed. He played a game against the Detroit Pistons. In the game, he blocked 26 shots. On the 55 rebound game, how about that, against Bill Russell. Wilt won seven scoring titles. He won nine shooting titles. He won 11 rebound titles. And then he left the league in assists one year. When he was in the latter part of his career, the news media or somebody would walk up to him and say, oh, you can't score anymore. 50, 60, and then he'd go back to passing the ball and whatever. And if you challenged him, that just took him to another level in terms of, okay, I'll do this, I'll do that. It's not possible for any human being to do the kinds of things that he was able to do. In an 80-game season, he played 79 complete games. He missed eight minutes of one game because it got thrown out. Other than that, he played every moment of every one of those games. That was inconceivable to us. How the hell do you stay so strong all season? How do you avoid fouling out? How do you take a beating every night with guys pushing you, punching you, grabbing you, and come back the next night fresh as a daisy? How the hell do you do this, Will? Just one game, 48 minutes a game is really enough, you know But uh, playing a whole season, 48 minutes a, a game. I mean, when I look back in retrospect, I say, what were they doing to me? Jesus, there must have been some time when I could have gotten, gotten a rest. 50 points a game. That's right. 5-0. 50. Man's averaging 50 points a game. <laughs> He's averaging 50. A bad night is 44. He'd get 63. He'd get 70. I mean, miraculous things. We were in awe of what he was doing out there against the best players in the world. Michael Jordan scored 50 or more points 31 times in his career. Impressive. Wilt did it 45 times in one season. You know, Wilt played guard with the Harlem Globetrotters, and I guess he was the first and last seven-foot guard in the game of basketball, but we wanted him to handle the ball more because that's what the people came to see. Will Chamberlain was another one that I met and trained with. Will Chamberlain. You trained with Will Chamberlain? Yeah. Will Chamberlain, he came to the gym and he would do a tricep extension. The, like the big guys, the strongest guys, would do, let's say, 120 pounds, let's say, tricep extension, pulling down, right? He would come and he would do 150, 170 pounds. Chamber. That's how strong he was. They always said he was by far the strongest person oh, who's he, ever he, played he, in the game. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. he, I remember that he lifted me up like one arm like nothing. I remember Andre the Giant, the, the professional wrestler, oh, yeah. who's a very good friend of mine, and Will Chamberlain. We both went out for dinner several times in Mexico City when we did the movie down there, yeah. the Conan movie. And, you know, both of them would just, you know, pick me up always. They were both joking about who can pick me up and make me look like lighter and like a little fly. And that's it because they were so powerful. It's just hard for people to fathom what we talk about when we say what he did. Uh, he did things that I that just defy description. Uh, I can remember plays that he made that when I would talk about him, people said, no, he couldn't have done that. And I'm telling you, it's something that I saw. He was just a great, great basketball player.
And I run across people who say to me, well, Shaquille weighed 50 to 75 pounds more than Wilt, and he would be able to do whatever. Wilt would take Shaquille O'Neal and move him around like he was a rag doll. But Chamberlain rebounds and scores. High pass to Wilt, who dunks it to Chamberlain and two points. The league's leading scorer banks it in there. The shot goes up and in. Block on this play. He's a tough man in there. Oscar Robertson passes to Will Chamberlain, who jams it in. Bounce passes to big Will Chamberlain. And it's a basket. Well, I believe Will Chamberlain proved himself this year to be the greatest player in the history of this game of professional basketball. We've known for years that Wilt could score uh, with the best of them and uh, establish scoring records. One year he even averaged 50 points a game and in that year even had a 100 point effort in one single game. But this year Wilt got the goal that he wanted. He won the whole thing. He proved to everyone that he's a winner and that he could play on the greatest team, play center for the greatest team in the history of this game of basketball. Wilt has the power, the strength to get the rebounds. This year, he was his defense was uh, uh, unparalleled, in my opinion, playing a team type of defense. And offense, we weren't relying upon Wilt to do all of our scoring for us. We relied on Wilt to play the center position and open things up so everyone could score. And I've, I've got to say this, when we got in trouble, Wilt may not have scored a, a great many points through the whole year, but when we got in trouble, we did go to the big guy and he responded with the big points when we needed him. Now, of course, Wilt is much stronger than both of them, so he will muscle and do a better job in close. Uh, looking ahead to the uh, World Se Series playoffs with Philadelphia, uh, we figured that we're going to have numerous problems, starting with Will Chamberlain, who uh, naturally is the most devastating player in the league right now. He's so big and strong and will upset your patterns almost any play you try to run, you try to run it around Will Chamberlain. But the greatest scorer in NBA history can still hit the hoop. In fact, Wilt became the first player ever to shoot over 70% for a full season. And for the 11th time, he led the league in rebounding. Much comment has been made on the change in Chamberlain's style. From loner to an integral part of a five-man team is quite a jump, even for Wilt. Alex Hannum. This year, I was fortunate to uh, take over a team that had the talent that uh, allowed Wilt to play the style of ball he did this year. It was not necessary for him to score uh, in order to win. It wasn't necessary for him to carry the whole load offensively. Uh, he had the type of talent to play with, and uh, this gave uh, me all kinds of weapons. But the weapon the fans still love most is the stuff. Wilt style. Yeah! 